stats, the expert. We've heard the stats. One in three millennials still living with their parents, and many are living paycheck to paycheck. Why is it so hard for them to get ahead? Certified financial planner Tony Drake joins us to talk about how Gen Yers I can uh, actually avoid these mistakes with their money. So, okay, first of all, how do you break free from your parents always giving you an allowance, always providing, and then coming into the real world? Well, maybe some of it's on the parents, right? Maybe the parents have to make some changes, but a couple simple things starts with building that credit score. Get a small credit card, maybe with a, a limit on it. Make sure you pay that off each month. Build that credit history up. Want to make sure you're paying down that high debt. You know, start a retirement account. If you put money in your 401k IRA, a lot harder to get to later. And don't make the mistake of not being insured. You know, major health incident sure. can really take a big bite out of you. Yeah, I guess I should feel lucky since one in three are still hanging out with their mom and dad, our 24-year-old. You know, I don't think he, ever, he was ever going to. He did. But I did tell him he's off the payroll, and that's changed things. So what are some of the common mistakes that millennials are making at this point? I think the first one is not establishing credit. You know, they just don't have a credit history, whether it's a cell phone. Even get an apartment nowadays, they're going to check your credit history, and sometimes it's just a lack of history. So, again, if you start with those small credit cards, get them paid off, that's really going to help. You mentioned that the credit card is the big thing to kind of start once you graduate, but are there any other smaller financial steps that these – millennials can make after graduating to kind of prepare them for the real world. Yeah, I think one of those steps is making sure we don't overdo it with the credit card. So the flip side of that deal is, is taking out too many high interest, you can't pay them off, that's certainly going to take a big bite out of you. And we have to think about it. I think a lot of kids nowadays are jumping into graduate school a little bit too quick. Mm. It's not just an investment in time. It's a huge burden, a huge cost financially. And, and you know, you have to look look at your field. Can you, with the salary that you're going to make, can you realistically pay that loan off? Yeah, I was with a law student the other day, said $180,000 debt mm. coming out of school, okay? Uh, but these college debts, that is a big difference between my generation, perhaps your generation as well. They're coming out with big debts. They're certainly coming out with big debts. Unfortunately, this generation came out at a time where the jobs weren't available either. Mm -hmm. You know, typically those folks are graduating, jobs are plentiful, and it just wasn't the case. So they kind of got a double hit with those large balances. But got to make the payments on those student loans. If you can't, make sure you call the lenders. There's some great programs that will put in deferment. But if you don't call them to stick your head in the sand, that's really going to whack your credit. And it's not going to help in the long run. And yeah. parents really have to help their kids prepare. I think that's a, a big part of it is preparing for that. And a lot of great resources out there about the colleges you're going to, but I, I just think not enough people are spending time saying, is this the right school for me? Can I afford this? Am I going to be, paid up, be able to pay it off? We have a great calculator on our website, wealthwisconsin.com, for a cost-benefit analysis on, on different tuitions alone. Yeah, all. state school versus a private school. Great example. All right, all right, well, if you have a question for our experts, you can email them at asktheexpertstmj4.com.